What's going on, YouTube? This is Horton Hogs of Plate coming at you with another food review. We're at the Carl's Jr. getting ready to do a versus battle. We're going to do a cheapest cheeseburger versus the most expensive cheeseburger at Carl's Jr. And we're going to take it back to the house and we're going to eat it at the house this time, not in the car. See you guys in a little bit. Peace. Alrighty, guys, how we doing? We just got home. Gonna do the versus battle. We've got 249 double cheeseburger, cheapest hamburger they have there at Carl's Jr. Versus the 649 thick burger. Thick burger, yeah, you heard me right. So, comparing them. Definitely a size difference. This one being half the cost of this one. This one's got onions, cheese, charboiled burger, cheese, onions, pickles, lettuce, mustard, and ketchup. This one has a burger bra, very nice. Comes with lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise, and ketchup. So just looking at it, these two burger cheeseburgers on the double cheeseburger look like they're gonna equal the size of the thick burger. I'm thinking the weight's coming from the tomato and the lettuce and the size of the bun. But looking at them, they both look delicious. So we'll go ahead and try the, uh, the cheap one first. Give the bun squeeze. Buns aren't too bad. Definitely could be a little bit softer. Um, Cheese looks good, nice and melted. Go ahead and bite it right here with the onion. Overall, good taste. Um, better than the Burger King dollar bacon cheeseburger? No. Um, two fifty coming with two burgers. If it had some bacon on it, might be a little bit better. I do like that it does come with the the onion and the lettuce. It's a good touch, especially for the price. The uh, Burger King one didn't have that. Um, and the buns here do not have sesame seeds on top. A little bit different, but not all burgers have sesame seeds, but if you like them, you like them, and I like sesame seeds. So, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to try the thick burger. So, comparing this one, yeah, there is some weight different for sure. Now, let's see if the taste is any better and if it's worth the price. The bun, a little bit softer than the cheaper burger. The uh, burger itself is a lot more moist and juicier than the, um, the cheaper burger. The lettuce and tomato on this one, on this one is only a um, one piece of lettuce and some onions. This one's got two big old sheets of butter lettuce and then it's also got two huge slices of tomato, some extra sauce, and it's got mayonnaise on it. This one didn't have mayonnaise on it. And for 
$2.22 more. I am going to have to give it to the Thick Burger. Thick Burger was a lot better taste, higher quality, a couple bucks more. It's a better deal. Um, but you win some, you lose some. But for a price, this one's a good burger. If you're trying to save some money, this one's also a good burger. Um, so you really can't go wrong, but if you got a couple extra bucks, I would definitely go with the thick burger. It's a higher quality burger and taste is a lot better in that one. Have a great day. YouTube, thank you for watching the food review. Like and subscribe if you made it to the, the end. If not, just like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. On my way to getting the one, 100 videos, I'm at number seven. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.